In this lecture, we'll talk about the current economic or global trade regime. The ratio at which a nation's currency can be exchanged for another nation's currency is called the exchange rate. Exchange rates vary daily and can be found in newspapers and on sites on the internet. Familiar familiarity with exchange rate is important because they affect the costs of imports and exports. A government may intentionally alter the value of its currency. Devaluation decreases the value of a currency in relation to other currencies, encouraging the sale of domestic or internally produced goods and tourism. When a country's currency is low, tourists tend to come and visit because everything seems cheap. Revaluation, which increases the value of a currency in relation to other currencies, occurs rarely usually when countries are trying to make some sort of a recovery or adjust to a specific situation. While infrastructure and exchange rates are important considerations, when decide, deciding whether to trade internationally, there are other important concerns that we must also be aware of. A company that decides to enter the international marketplace must be content with potentially complex relationships among different laws of its own nation, different laws than its own nation and under international laws and the laws of the nation into which it will be doing trade. Various trade restrictions, changing political climates and different ethic, ethical values all impact business in other countries. Legal and ethical requirements for successful business are increasingly global. Due to the U.S. embargo against Cuba, for example, many Cubans still drive older automobiles. The United States has a number of laws and regulations that govern the activity of U.S. Form, firms when they're engaged in international trade. Many of the legal rights Americans take for granted don't exist in some other countries, and a firm doing business abroad must always understand and obey the laws of that host country. Some countries have strict laws limiting the amount of local currency that can be taken out of the country and the amount of currency that can be brought in. Others limit how foreign companies can operate within the country. Some countries have differences in copyright and patent laws, as we mentioned before, these are less strict sometimes than those in the United States, and they fail to honor U.S. laws. Because copying is a tradition in countries such as Japan and, or excuse me, such as China and Vietnam, laws protecting copyrights and intellectual property are less strict, less strict and are minimally enforced. Those countries are flooded sometimes with counterfeit products. Thus, businesses engaging in foreign trade may have to take extra steps to protect products because local laws may be insufficient to do so. As an example of, of lax patent laws, which are shown in this picture, a watch on the right is a knockoff developed by Digital Time Incorporation, Digital Time Company Limited in Thailand, it received a special award for falsification. This dubious honor is given to the best product knockoff by an organization called Action Plagiarists in an effort to shame their makers. The real watch on the left was created by Fortis Unren AG in Gretchen, Swats, in, uh, Gretchen Switzerland. In the next uh, lecture, we'll talk about some of the other challenges or friction across trading regimes.